Good day to everyone. Okay, so today we'll still have a square root. However, we'll be focusing on determining consecutive integers as square root is between. So, bale, ang gagawin natin is that maghanap tayo ng dalawang integer na magkasunod na kung saan yung square root daw ay makikita. Okay, so please stay tuned and keep on watching. Um, as part of recall, I have here the following. You know pretty well how to read this. This is the square root of 36 is 6. Okay, so where that symbol, okay, is your radical sign or your root symbol or simply radical sign. And yung nasa loob ng radical sign, that is your radicand. And yung sagot mo, ang, which is yung hinahanap mong sagot, ang tawag natin doon ay principal root. Okay, so dapat naiintindihan natin yung concept about consecutive integers. Okay, pag sinabi natin consecutive, ibig sabihin magkasunod. Ano ba mga examples ng numbers na magkasunod? 1 and 2. What else? 3 and 4. Um, 7 and 8. Ano pa? Um, 25 and 26. Okay? So, mga numbers na magkasunod. Ang number na 7, 8, 9, magkakasunod naman din sila. Consecutive. Kaya lang, um, ang kailangan natin sa lesson na to ay dalawang magkasunod na number lang. Okay? So, let us now proceed. And another, another thing that you need to, to take note and be reminded of is a perfect square numbers. Naalala niyo yung discussion ko in the previous two videos. So, dapat alam mo kung perfect square ba ang isang number. Kapag perfect square siya, ibig sabihin, makakabuo ka talaga ng perfect square sa chessboard natin or um, kung hindi, kasi masyadong maliit lang yung chessboard natin, 64 squares lang yun, um, dapat alam mo na yung factors niya ay parehas. Ibig sabihin, pwede kang makahanap ng dalawang number na kapag times mo sa sarili niya ay uh, ang sagot ay yung radicand. So, perfect square number yon Okay? So, balikan nga natin yung chessboard. Okay? So, here is our chessboard. Um, um, simplehan na lang natin. Alam nyo ba yung multiplication table? <laughs> Yung multiplication table na yun, malaki ang maitutulong noin sa paghanap ng square numbers. Okay? So, 1. 1 is a perfect square number kasi parehas na ang factors ng 1 ay 1 times 1. Next, 4. 4 is a perfect square number kasi parehas na 2 ang factors niya. Next, 9. 9 is a perfect square number kasi parehas 3 ang factors niya. 3 times 3, di ba? 4, uh, I mean 16. 16 is a perfect square number kasi 4 times 4 is 16. Then next, so on and so forth. Ngayon, yung mga numbers na naandito, yan, yung mga numbers na naandyan, kung naalala nyo sa multiplication table, hindi yun mga perfect square. Not perfect square yon Katulad na lang halimbawa, ng 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24, di ba? And 24 is not a perfect square kasi ang factors niya ay 6 at saka 4. Magkaiba. So, kailangan para matawag mong perfect square number, eto yon Eto yung mga perfect square number natin, ha? Yan ang mga perfect square number natin. Dapat magkaparehas ng factors. Dapat magkaparehas ng tina times sa madaling salita. Okay? So, halimbawa, um, kanto, 3 times 5, 15. 15 is not a perfect square number kasi ang factors niya ay 3 and 5. 
5 times 3 magkaiba, di ba? Okay, so yun yung concept ng perfect square number. Now, let's analyze the following. Um, to analyze this uh, topic or we have to give it with or I'm going to discuss it with two illustrative examples. So, let's have the illustrative example number one. Okay, between which two consecutive integers does square root of 6 lie? Ibig sabihin, saan daw makikita si square root of 6? Kung gagamit tayo ng calculator, syempre napakadali lang hanapin nun, okay? Pipindot ka lang. Kaya lang, ang target natin is hindi naman talaga tayo naghahanap ng principal root. Ang pinapahanap sa atin, Okay, ay kung anong dalawang magkasunod na integer daw ang pumapagit na kay square root of 6. So, let's have the following. Okay, so yan yung problem natin. Solution. The solution is first, kunin natin yung radicand natin. Ilagay natin dito. Okay? So, I'm, I'm explaining it in as far as I can <laughs> uh, para mabilis ninyong maalala or maintindihan. And then, yung dalawang pink na to, yan yung dalawang consecutive integer. Okay? Ngayon, um, we have here 6. Ang ilalagay natin dito sa kaliwa at dito sa kanan ay mga perfect square numbers. Okay? Perfect square numbers ang ilalagay natin dyan. Na ano yun? ba? 6. Balikan natin yung chessboard natin. Okay? So, eto yung chessboard natin. 6. Ang 6 ay nasaan? Ang 6 ay makikita natin dito sa gitna ni 4, kung nakikita nyo, at saka ni 9. Okay? So, makikita siya kay 4 at saka kay 9. Nandyan siya sa gitna. Okay? Nandyan siya. Kasi 6, ba Lagpas kay 4, Pero, bago dumating kay 9. Okay, so, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay ilagay lang natin dito si 4 at saka si 9. Pag nailagay na natin, ang sunod natin gagawin ay lagyan na natin ngayon ng radical sign yung 6 natin. Okay, yan. So, bale, kinopya ko lang yung given. Alright? And then, ang sunod natin gagawin ay lagyan din natin ng radical sign yung 4 at saka yung 9. Pag nalagyan na natin, ang sunod natin gagawin ay etong square root of 6, kopyahin lang natin yan kasi, di ba, not perfect square to. Not perfect square yang 6. Okay? So, after that, ang sunod natin gagawin ay kunin na natin yung um, principal root ni square root of 4 at saka ni square root of 9. Ang principal root ng square root of 4 ay ano nga? Yung number lang na kapag multiply mo sa sarili niya, ang sagot ay yung radikan. So, ano yun? 2. Kasi 2 times 2, ang sagot ay 4. Next, ano naman ang principal root ng square root of 9? Ang principal root ng square root of 9 ay 3. Kasi 3 times 3, 9. So, you see, consecutive integers natin are 2 and 3. Magkasunod sila, ba? So, you may try to check it using your calculator na lang. Computing nyo sa calculator itong square root of 6. I'm sure that's a decimal number. Sige, try natin. Pindutin sa calculator. So, the square root of 6 
the square root of 6 the square root of 6 is 2.45 2.45 See, lagpas siya kay 2 pero hindi umabot ng 3 Okay? So, yan yung ating um, example number 1 now, let's go back to uh, giving another illustrative example, number two naman. Okay, so for number two, between which two consecutive integers does the square root of 75 lie? So, this is the square root of 75. You don't have to worry sa sa pagkuha ng consecutive integers. Basta importante na aalala ninyo yung perfect square numbers. Okay? So, the solution. First, write 75. Okay? So, write 75. Then next, we have to write a perfect square number there and there. Kung meron tayong 75, ano ngayon ang perfect square natin na um, ilalagay dyan? Ang ilalagay natin ay? Ano? <laughs> A, uh, 64. Okay? Yan. 64. And 81, okay? Kasi, uh, uh, ang 64 ay equal sa 8 times 8. And then, ang 81 ay equal sa 9 times 9. So, wala na tayong number na kung saan pwedeng nandyan mo ngayon makikita ang 75. Okay? So, again, proceed. Copy the square root of 75. And then, what we're going to do is to um, write those numbers there. 64 inside the radical sign. And so, the same with the 81. Lagay natin sa radical sign. Sa loob ng radical sign. The next, copy again, square root of 75. And then, find now the principal root of 64. The principal root of 64 is just simply 8. Why? Kasi 8 times 8 is equal to 8 squared. So, kinopya lang natin yung base. And 81, the square root of 81 is equal to 9. Bakit naging 9? Kasi, di ba, dalawa yung factor. So, 9 is squared. We just copy the base. Or, kahit hindi mo na kailangan to, mas importante, dapat magkaparehas yung number mo. Yun na yung principal root. Okay? Now, ibig sabihin nito, si square root of 75, kung baga, ay makikita daw yung sagot no ng principal root nito sa dalawang magkasunod na numero na 8 and 9. Okay? Alright, so that will be all. I hope you learned in this video lesson. And uh, please stay tuned and wait for more upcoming videos. That will be all. Bye-bye!